somebody very different, somebody very vulnerable. I saw you being very uh, transparent, um, relinquishing your power or sense of uh, control in that moment to reflect and regroup yourself and to regain your foundation. So both of you are work extremely well together. So whether it be General Hospital or other productions, I believe even in a comedy aspect or maybe something, a film or a show with The Rock or somebody, uh, moving forward, you and Johnny are a very good pair. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I, I want to I quickly just say that you know, you, you showing that side of yourself to, to, to kind of open up and be like that. You felt compassionate to smoke. Um, I want to commend you on that because number one, that shows you're a human being, you know, and it's like, and the thing is on social media, there is a lot of hate towards smokes, right? Like, there, you know, people want him murdered. They want him gone because he is just, you know, he's up to, he's just causing trouble for, for these characters that, that everybody adores and loves. And they don't want to see that. They want to see their characters being happy and not necessarily feeling miserable because when they connect with their characters, they probably, I'm assuming like as a super fan, you're going to like, if they're having a great day on general hospital, you're going to have a great day too. And who's this Grant Smoltz douche canoe coming in <laughs> and taking this up. So, so yeah, you know, that it's really cool to see that there is some compassion for him and, I can review on that. And I, you know, it'd be interesting to see if there was, if other people felt that way too. And additionally, you were, you were talking about, um, about seeing that potentially it looks like maybe Grant had a, a past of being bullied and it's crazy. Like, I, I don't know how you picked that up, but that, that was part of my character's backstory. It was like part of why he has got a chip on his shoulder is because, and you know, typically act as like we don't really like go into our backstory but you're kind of like you kind of you kind of saw it so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna confirm that my the backstory that i created in my in my head was that um is that yeah you know in in high school and even a certain extent in college but not as much mostly in high school grant was was really bullied a lot by by all sorts of people by the jocks by the cool people and that's why he really dug his heels into journalism, right? Into those like English lit type classes. And when he finally, um, you know, had a career to focus on, it, all that angst built up, like he's got something to prove. He wants to prove all those bullies wrong. So so in that moment, when Brando comes after him, it's like he is going, it, it just, it literally transports him right back to high school. And it was, and yeah, I think what you're seeing is, is, is just that so yeah and you know the thing is I, I i listened to a little bit of johnny's interview uh when he was on your show and it's interesting because we, we are kind of similar and maybe perhaps why we're a, an interesting pair is that we both kind of have a similar preparation style he says he's a man of and yeah he's definitely a man <laughs> uh you know i saw those cowboy shots like he was literally riding a bull the other day and i'm like holy shit i, I could never ride a bull because i would definitely break a bone or something or a ligament uh, i don't know how he's doing this but it was super cool like everything he posts is super cool but but yeah um his preparation style is imagination right it's creating that rich backstory through imagination and that's the same thing i do 